So hello everyone and um, welcome to this <laughs> new tutorial video of mine where I'm gonna be showing you how to basically install a silenced pistol mod in GTA 4 because this has got been I think um, removed in the beta version of GTA 4 and there hasn't been really any other ways to play that particular uh, pistol mod other than um, modding it into the game on the PC. And then there is one more thing I want to make sure is that um, all the video that you have seen um, creating these videos with GTA 4 mods and installation and everything, I always use the Steam version. Um, it's like I'm not sure if the Rockstar Games launcher will work with any of the mods that I have been showing in here because um, I did not try it and also like the Steam version is probably the most favorable when it comes to modding any other game basically so make sure if you want to follow this tutorial that you have the game on the Steam installed. So basically as you can see here um, the 2.0 GTA 4 downgrader version for some reason does not work because the server um, where it is probably uploaded it is down or something like that but you can still use the 1.7 version as it shows in here and all you have to do is just to click on here basically you have to click on here and um, you just have to download it and there's the other thing this is the silenced pistol mod this is the silencer mod for the pistol, but there is one catch to it, like there is one problem with it. It's that if you add this weapon sound to your game, the game will only um, recognize the pistol sound, like basically a silenced pistol, but all the other weapons that you have will have the basic, basically the vanilla version of the game sounds, like the weapon sound. So if this might be bothering you, um, there, is, there might be probably a fix for this, but I have not came up with it yet, so I don't know about this, to be honest. So basically, um, I have the downgrader here on my desktop, and um, all you have to do is just make an empty folder for it. So like, right click, um, extract all, and basically you have to like search the location, in my case it's basically on the desktop, and I have named it GTA for downgrade because um, I have the different one but I did delete that but whatever so basically I have to click on here and select folder and then it will show this extract and you have to like click on that and after that it will show up as like something like this basically you open it up and um, basically you open this one up and um, it will take some time until it shows so as you can see um, there's a newer version, the 2.0, but for some reason it does um, not work, like because I can't download it at the moment. I don't know how it's gonna be in the future. I will update you guys if I can see that the newer version is available to download and the problem has got been fixed. It so you have to like click no because it does not work at the moment. And here you can basically go to next, and you have to find the path where you have um, downloaded your GTA 4. EXE. In my case, it's um, we go to this PC, and I have it on the E drive, Steam library, Steam apps, common, and basically, you have to find the one that you're gonna be using, which is gonna be always the one where it says no copy. So even if you have made a copy, don't select the copy one, select the one with no copy on it. So like go into here, GTA 4. And here is GTA 4. This is the EXE. It does not show EXE for me, but this is the G GTA 4 EXE where it does not um, show anything else besides of GTA 4. So um, you click on open and it shows valid file. So it was correct. You go to next one, no problems found. Next. And I like to use always if I mod my games the 1.4, 1 1.0.4.0 version because it's just more, I don't know, it, it's like better for a lot of mods, a lot of mods support it. Also with 1.0.7.0 but I don't really like that besides if I want to play LSPDFR but we're gonna be using 1.0.4.0 so we click on next and here basically there are a couple of things that you can um, select. So no cursor escape, this is good. Simple graphic loader, 
this is not really necessary unless you want it x live this is needed and um this is z menu i think the guy like zolika has got um i don't know if he's still updating his um menus like his z menu for the gta 4 but we're gonna be also using this because it's like great um because we can like change the weather and um use a lot of things with this like also give god mode weapons and everything so we're gonna be also using it even if it's if even if it might be outdated so we click on the next one and um we don't need a backup but it could create your backup of the game because this is what i mentioned like before we have to like create a backup of the game you know if something goes wrong you can like always rename that copy into the basic gta 4 and um it will work just as the original now you click on downgrade and then basically this might take depending on how fast your pc is and, and stuff like that it usually doesn't take that long so basically this did finish it did not take much like two minutes i think so we click on next and um, I don't really need any of these, but you can basically save your files like that you have your process or something like this. I don't know. Next. And I also like to use these things, but um, click on this one, basically. Um, I don't use the window thing. It's like I don't like to play the game in, in the windowed version. And um, you go on next and um, you could run the game, but we are not done yet. Now, lastly, I think you're also going to need Open 4, so basically download it, and um, I'm going to be back soon. And basically, after you open up Open 4, click on GTA 4 here, Windows, and you have to find the location here where your GTA 4 is installed at. Click on Browse, and here in my case, it's this PC, E Drive, um, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, um, and GTA 4. GTA 4 here, and I think this is basically it. Select folder, so it was successful. We need to click on continue, and um, do not forget to back up original files before editing. Continue, basically um, now it's opening up, and always turn on the edit mode if you want to um, add something or mod something inside of Open 4. Now we have the silencer mod here, the pistol silencer mod. We open it up here and open it up here and um, installation with OpenV. Here it is GTA 4 um, common data weapon info.exml. So basically, this is the route that we need to follow. It's um, here as you can see common, common um, data here, and we have to find weapon info.exml. Here, as you can see, and you go into here, data, and just basically drag and drop this into here. And basically, for whatever reason, um, it's not working when I want to drag and drop it. So for that reason, I'm going to drag it out onto my desktop, and it's like right here. And now I can drag it into here, and it is done, even if it doesn't show anything, but it show this sort of symbol, so it worked. Now we're going to do the same thing with... Um, the PC, we go back here, GTA 4, PC, audio and SFX, resident.rpf, resident weapons. So basically PC, audio, um, SFX, and then we have to find here resident.rpf, or basically resident here, resident.rpf, resident. And here are the weapons. So this is the sound. So this will also not work if I drag and drop it into here. We're gonna um, drag this to the desktop and drag it from here to here. And it works again. Now we're gonna go back and we're gonna do the same thing with the models. Yeah, models. CD images, weapons, and these are the last ones that need to be put in. So we're gonna go back um, to PC and models, CD images and um, weapons.emg, you open it up and basically this is the location where we have to drag and drop these things. So we're gonna do the same thing, drag these to the desktop and basically have to 
drag these three things inside of here and it shows the same symbol so it works and we have successfully installed it and now i'm gonna go into the game and i will show you how it looks like and now guys if you want to launch the game to see if the mod works all you have to do is just click on gta4 here and um you have to click on this um green symbol and it will run the game for you so as you can see it is detecting it and now it is gonna run and now basically all we have to do is um press f7 and basically we have to find um the weapons here weapon packs and i think it's the weapon pack um it's the second one so we um navigate with it and yes as you can see now we click f7 again and i forgot to mention that if you use f this um zolica trainer you click f7 or press f7 and then you can use the numpad like if i can show it to you on the camera so you have to like um i don't know if you can see it but you have to use these things right here and with i think with eight you go up and with two you go down four like left and right but that's not really recommended and f is li like f like five is like um if it, if it would be like enter so if uh, i hope that this was like somewhat helpful you know in order to for the navigation because i know sometimes it's not that easy and now we press f7 again as you can see the weapon is here and it sounds like this it's like um from a hitman game i don't know like i think hitman like the older hitman games you know it's really fun actually it's like we are being hitman a serbian hitman and now you can fool around play around whatever you want in here and um yeah i hope it was helpful and um see you in the next one guys